Uh, so approximately at 6 p.m. last night, uh, we became aware that there was an explosion at Kerr Dam, which uh, is uh, located at Lake Hudson. And uh, we had a crew in from a company called D.A. Smith Drilling. And there was a subcontractor that was contracted actually out by Oklahoma State University who we contracted to help us do some assessment and inspections of the dam in the lower parts of the dam. Uh, we have what's called scouring that's occurred from a lot of recent floods over the last several years and we just to ensure the structural integrity and just as we always do with safety precautions of the dam and inspections uh, we had this firm coming in to help do some assessment and work on that. During the last few days uh, DA Smith discovered some gas deposits that were below ground, which is not that uncommon, but they're part of their special specialization is they address these type of issues when gas is determined and they determine they felt like they should do um, a, a work procedure to address capping out that area where these gases were discovered. And during that process at approximately 6 p.m. last night, an explosion occurred, which we don't know why yet. Uh, we've got uh, experts in that field that are doing determinations and, and inspections and uh, an investigation as we speak to determine what caused the explosion. They were in the lower portion of that uh, inspection tunnel when the explosion occurred. A third worker was higher up vertically in that same uh, inspection tunnel and uh, did receive injuries, uh, did ultimately seek treatment and was released. Fortunately, uh, injuries appear to be minor, but the two individuals that were lower in the structure perished from the explosion. Recovery crews were able to uh, get them uh, both bodies at approximately 4.30 a.m. this morning. We have done inspections since the explosion occurred, and uh, we are uh, obviously uh, happy to report that we do not find there's any structural damage or integrity issues with the dam as a result of the instruction. It's safe. Uh, all these initial findings we've done, and we've looked at it again this morning, appears that there was no damage that would cause any concern for public safety.